Welcome back, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and we are going to tour the flip living room which I am so excited about because I told you this is my favorite room of the whole project, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. We love to have you guys following along. And also if you wanna leave a comment and a like, that helps us a ton. I love to hear what you're thinking. Be sure to also check out our email list over on designlovesdetail.com and you can find me at Instagram, um, also at designlovesdetail, where I share a ton of deals in my Instagram stories and really all kinds of stuff um, in my feed, like more pictures of the spaces that we are touring. Um, here in the flip house. So I will see you over there. If you guys remember how this house started, it was pretty crazy in this room. This is the room that had the giant old school flat screen TV. That was a dark memory. The carpet was disgusting. Probably some of the dirtiest carpet I've seen in a house. Really discolored and we had the wall dividing across this space. So it was like the dining and the living room were together and they were cut off from the kitchen. Definitely some stuff to take in, but one of the things that we didn't have to change, which was actually amazing, is that there were already so many windows, both here on this wall, this wall here, and then even in this entry section, this is where you come in off the front door and these windows were already here as well. So what we did instead of having to add windows, which you know was, nice that we didn't have to, was really play them up and do the kind of window treatments that draw your eye here. And these are the ones, of course, that we did throughout. But in the entry section, I did do some woven shades. They just got put up, so it's exciting to see those. Just to bring some texture, and I thought this would be a weird place for curtains here and here, so those are kind of what we did with the shades for the, that section. But I love that when you walk into this space, your eye just comes right into this room. It's kind of a wow factor in my opinion. I did put a little bench here too, by the way, off the entry so that there's a little place to come and sit to take your shoes off. I'm kind of always thinking about that because sometimes you need it. Back to the windows. Um, this little alcove is kind of a cute spot. It bumps out a little bit and it gives us kind of some room to breathe. So you can walk behind these chairs. Again, the same curtain rods. I took them all the way to the ceiling and I think it looks really like tailored and clean in here really fresh and inviting, which is, is what we aim for because we want the buyer of this home to just walk in and feel like they want to live here. These chairs are a really cool detail. I am so sorry, but they discontinued these it, just in the time frame from when I ordered them and now. So it was a huge disappointment. I'm gonna see if I can find some similar ones. And if I do, I'll link those in the description below. As you know, the products for all the spaces I share are linked in the description as much as I can find them. Sometimes they're sold out and I'll link a similar option and stuff like that, but usually I link the exact stuff so you guys can shop the room. This little corner over here, I wanted to bring some texture and interest and this little coconut shell table, it's actually pretty good size, it was a perfect way I think to kind of blend the warmer browns and then the creamy tones that we have going on and just have some texture as well. I'm obsessed with this lamp, I will include the link for you. I love that extra thick base and then just the raw, kind of concrete look. It just brings another element into the space. And I always love to have a mix of textures and elements. So that's a really nice piece. And then we have this faux tree. This one's so cute. It comes in a variety of different heights. I think the larger heights were sold out. I really wanted a little bit more height in here, but I was able to add some by doing a larger pot and then putting a box underneath the actual tree. A lot of times I'll do that and then just fill the pot with river stones. Sometimes I've even seen people just put like a blanket in there. I usually do some type of a textured item. I haven't filled this one yet, but you can kind of fill the base with paper and then just do the top layer as river stones or moss, something like that. So it definitely added some height from the actual tree. And I love that it has, you know, it has a pretty organic feel to this one as well. And then with that light behind, it does feel very earthy and natural, organic. Over here, I brought in these white sofas and I love them. I know they're white, but they are slip cover, so you know, you have a chance with them. And they are honestly the comfiest, fluffiest, just coziest sofas. I always wanna just jump on them. And they are from World Market, I will link them. I'm super happy with how they look. They look very high end and the price point's pretty reasonable. So that's a winner. And then I wanted to have the symmetry again, so I did one on either side and brought in some really fun pillows that have kind of the earthy colors as well. This is such a fun detail, this wood button one. And then this is a new one from the Fall Target collection. So really nice, higher end look, but affordable price point. This is Target as well. 
and this guy is what I've had, so can't link that, but it's a little bit older. The rug here too is kind of similar to what I did in the family room where it's subtle, but it has a lot of texture going on. So it kind of gives us something interesting. And then I think it's kind of fun because they have some kind of nice density to them. So they kind of feel fun to walk on. So this middle uh, table here is one of my favorite coffee tables ever. I love that it's kind of a mix between an, a large size ottoman and a coffee table. I love the wood tone. It's really, really beautiful. It's a little bit of a splurge to this piece, but I can't say enough good things about it. The scale is amazing and the quality is just phenomenal. So I'll definitely link that one. And I have no regrets over splurging for it because I think it really does tie the whole space together. This wooden chain, look at how cool that scale is. It's huge. This is the large size one from Bloomist. It is, I mean, it's a real cool piece. It's so sculptural and you can kind of, you know, rearrange it. So it's got that movement that you can adjust and, you know, have fun with. So I love stuff like that. That's kind of like livable art and it's a statement piece. It's always fun too. So here's that other sofa over here. I did a little bit different pillows, same types of color scheme, really earthy, a little bit of that green, that kind of olive, subtle olive green. It's just so beautiful. And then this, I mean, this is kind of the focal point, right? This situation with the shelves and then this gorgeous cabinet. I shared this in my Instagram stories and it's sold out. That's why you got to follow my stories because if you want to get the stuff, the good stuff, real time, that's where you go. I think it will be restocked and I'm keeping a close eye on it. I will link it, but it does go out of stock quickly because it is a gorgeous piece. It's nice quality wood. It's got great storage in there. These doors with the texture are just phenomenal. So beautiful. It has a real handcrafted artisan look, which I'm always after because it just brings that authentic feel to your space. And I think that this room really has that. It's really kind of an artsy vibe to it with the different sculptural pieces, the furniture. And what's cool is that I kind of give myself a little pat on the back for this one, but these shelves and this credenza were literally nothing to do with each other. Completely different brand, available through different places. Like I just thought they'd be good together. And then they came and I was like, yep, I got that one right. But it is tricky to, you know, know wood tones online. So it was a little bit of a gamble. And in fact, the wood tones online didn't even look this similar, but then in real life, they're so close that it looks like they were made to be together. That just makes my design heart happy. <laughs> this is my favorite art piece ever, Home Goods Find. I found this little mate to it just a few weeks ago. And so this is their new happy home. Although I think I'm gonna not sell them with the house because like this has been with me for years and I've literally not found anything I love as much, which it's so simple. It's kind of almost silly that I love it that much, but it's gone to like every house and every, I don't know. So I don't think I can sell it, but I'm going to tell them they probably want to put a TV here anyways, because it's just, you know, it's really well set up for it. The shelves I kept pretty simple again, kind of just going with the neutral tones, the black and white. And then of course my little pop of faux green. This is a really cute little one that you can just drop in the little faux plant. It's actually called like an orb or something. Like it's kind of cool because it has no base. It's just like the top part. So you can just drop it in any pot that isn't, isn't deep or anything. This little link doodad from Target, so good. Really affordable, looks high end. It's made of, I think limestone or something, marble, whatever. One of those stones so that it feels, again, really authentic and, and high end, but not expensive. Over here, similar stuff. These are from one of the new, the Justina Blakeney collection at Target. They kind of have that plaster look. So they've got some texture and in really beautiful form that kind of feels, you know, a little bit maybe vintage or, or something like that. H&M home, some really cute home decor pieces there. You guys know I love H&M and they do have coupon codes pretty often. So I definitely love to grab shelf styling pieces there with their affordable price points and the discount code. These are always so cute. I love these types of like bone beads. Really nice for having different shape and texture and just a really, I don't know, kind of interesting detail. Books are always, I think, just such a great asset for styling. And I just did the single bookend there. Like I like to get a little creative with how the books are placed and what I use as bookends. Sometimes I'll use 
items that aren't even necessarily intended as a bookend. Like I think this would be cute as a bookend. Sometimes I'll put like a little pot on the end. So definitely you can get really creative with books. Decor boxes are another staple for me in designing. They're functional. You can hide the remotes in there. And then also they just add, you know, another element. This one's kind of like a shell inlay. So you get some kind of dimension and texture. Down here, just more books. And then this fun thing is from the new Target collection as well. So it's that oversized ceramic bead chain. And you can see how just these oversized items are nice because they can kind of be on their own shelf doing their own thing and you have a whole shelf decorated with just the one item. So that's kind of nice because on other shelves where you have multiple items, that's just kind of a nice reprieve to have something where you can just have a singular element and detail. But this room, I love it. I'm actually gonna be sad to leave it. This is the first house that we're selling that's a flip. And so I'm like, dang, put all that heart and soul and usually I get to enjoy it a little longer. We'll see, it's gonna hit the market. I think it's this weekend, so geez holding my breath. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully someone loves it as much as we do and it'll all be a good decision. We did spend more than we should have. So we'll discuss that in a coming video because we have to go over all the budget. Not excited because you know Ben and numbers and also me and Lonnie, all the things. So it's sometimes bad, <laughs> but it turned out great. And so hopefully we can maybe just sell for a little bit more. I need a bidding war. Let's do some vibes for a bidding more. <laughs> I forgot to mention these candle holders. I love these. They're just a simple modern addition that works really well on a tabletop like this, or also a mantle for seasonal decor with candles or really year round. They have them in both the matte black as well as a brushed brass. So highly recommend those as kind of a staple piece for your mantle or even a centerpiece, that sort of thing. Anyways, I'm so happy to have you guys along for this journey. We are wrapping up the flip house. We will do a full tour coming up soon. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for that. And also give us a like and a comment and we will be talking numbers soon too, like I mentioned. So there's really a lot to come still with the flip house to see how it all plays out. You can find me over on designlessdetail.com at our blog where there's lots of posts and pictures from pretty much all the projects and also over on Instagram at designlessdetail. Um, lots of stuff going on there all the time too. Usually you can find me in stories and we will see you guys next time.